Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man. And as always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. And today I have another guitar for sale. Like I told you guys, whenever I get another guitar in, one has to go. And which each time one comes in, you hate to get rid of any of your guitars. Because every guitar that I have in my collection, I love. They feel good to play. They sound good. And most of them look good. So, here it is. My J Terser. This one is the Vintage Series. And out of all the, the J Terser guitars that they make, the Strat copies, this is far by, by uh, the farest, the best Strat copy they make because of the neck. This neck is just beautiful. It has a nice uh, lacquer on it. Smooth to play. Feels good to play. And the action on this one is really good. Uh, I got this one from Guitar Center. I'll say less than a month ago. And uh, they all usually come with great action. That's what the uh, first thing I noticed about J. Turk's guitars. Some are just much better than others. But overall, they're all good. And this is one of the exceptions. This is one of the best ones uh, as far as setup that I've ever had. I remember the very first J. Turk's guitar that I had. It was this model. It was the Venge series. And this is when I first started to post a lot of covers because the guitar was just feeling good to play. And I eventually uh, sold that one because I got two more. And then I started to play the telly because by that around that time I started, I bought a, you know, a telly. So I was kind of trading off or switching up between the this J. Tursa model and my telly. And this thing sounds great. I'm going to leave a link down here so you guys can check out the last uh, cover I did with this guitar it was a uh, heat wave posing to a closing one of my favorite heat wave songs and like I told you there's really no guitar in my collection that I want to give away or sell quote unquote but like I told you to keep the inventory down and I have a hundred guitars up in here because right now I got two drum sets up in here you know in in, in my place you know so uh, it's getting pretty crowded you know and I told you I got another guitar coming so this one has to go this one is in excellent condition I think there's not a scratch on here except for there's a slight little ding right I think right there one of them so small I can't even see it it's around here somewhere but uh this thing feels good to play and let me say this and forgive me for digressing for many of years the marketing has been really good on selling you overpriced guitars because everybody has to have one that you're not cool if you don't have American-made Fender Stratocaster. Because before I could afford a Fender Stratocaster made in America, I was playing a Squire that was made in Mexico. Actually, I think it was China or Indonesia. Well, actually, all three of them I had. And they felt good, you know. Then I got my first American-made Stratocaster. I remember it like it was yesterday. I got it from the Guitar Center in Chicago. They used to be on 95th Street, right close to Evergreen uh, Plaza. And uh, the, me and the manager was cool. You know, we, when he first started working there, I started coming in and he became manager. So he would call me and say, hey, I got these things coming in. I got this thing. You might want to check it out. Really cool guy. Shout out to Todd. I forgot Todd's last name. Missouri or something like that. So, uh, I was in the store and he said, oh, I got American made for you. So I looked at it, I played it, and I was like, how much? I think I paid like almost $1,000 for that guitar. And this, that particular model was a collector's item because it was, uh, I think it was celebrating the bicentennial. And I think it was made in 1976, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, I bought it. I took it home. I played it because I played it there and I really played when I got home. And I had this terrible feeling in my stomach. I said, man. I don't like this because the American maids are much heavier than the Squires. I don't like super heavy guitars. I don't like super light guitars neither. I like something in, in the middle like this one. So, I, you know, I didn't get no sleep that night. Like I said, I remember like this was yesterday. I'm like, man, I got to take this back tomorrow. Convince them to give me my money back because there was nothing wrong with the guitar. The guitar I just didn't like it. You know, it was too heavy. And it didn't really have that bright tone like the Squires did. You know, I got used to that bright tone and sound of Strat. So uh, I took it back and I explained, you know, to the manager. And I was honest. I just, I'm not feeling this, man. You know, 
And that's just a lot of money to eat. You know, if it was like $100 or $200, I'm like, I'll just keep it and resell it. So he understood and he refunded my money. So then about several years later, I got another chance to buy another American May. I got it the same feeling, super heavy. Just didn't have that bright strat, strat tone or strat, a caster tone or squire tone. So uh, I placed the ad in, uh, I want to say, the reader in Chicago. And I had no problems getting rid of it because it was made in America. Now, when I was trying to get rid of my squires and I told them where they were built in Mexico, <coughs> hello, hello, you know. So those are really hard to resell unless you're just literally giving them away. So uh, I placed the ad in the reader and that guitar went the next day because when I told them, American made, you know, and I put it in the ad and still away for them to call me. No, it was made in Indonesia. Okay, thank you. Sorry. But uh, I sold it the same, you know, the next day I put it in there. And this guitar here feels better, sounds better, and it has a better neck. Because that was the problem with the, 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 the Fender Stratocasters. Because I do have two American-made Stratocasters in my collection. They're never in my house. They, they still stay in the studios that I work out of because the majority of the producers and the people coming in want that Strat sound, that American-made Strat sound. I give them what they want. That's what they pay for. That's what they want. You know, but... Long story short, and the reason why I went into that, and forgive me, is to just the comparison. I would take this any day over a Stratocast American Man. I mean, I would. You know, because again, I've played many of them. Uh, the necks don't feel as good for some reason. The way that they're set up, the, uh, the strings are extremely stiff. You can't bend them. And then your hand hurt when you're trying to play that dreaded F chord. You know, when I play F chord on this guitar, it don't bother me, you know. But when I play it on American Mage Strats, it's like I hope it ain't staying too long on the F, you know, F bar chord. But again, uh, letting this go for good price because, I mean, this guitar feels good and it, it sounds good and it looks good. Uh, 129 plus, what, $50 shipping and handling. Actually, it's going to be, is it 129 Yeah, 129 Shipping and handling, $50, so that's a total of $179 you get this guitar. You know, uh, every now and then, when I, when I pick up, you know, uh, a Squire, or should I say a Strat copy of Jay Tursa, like I told you, all of them feel good. The action of them, all of them feel good. But every now and then, I get a few that feel very good. And this one, trust me, feels very good to play. The action on this thing is great. And I think there are 09s on this one. I'm not quite sure. I don't think they are 8s, but they are 09s, and that's not bad at all. So, uh, again, I'll leave a link down here let you guys hear it. Uh, the first, you know, 189, that's including shipping and handling. Which you, you get tracking and also signature requires. So when it shows up, somebody has to sign for it. Nobody's just going to sit it on your doorstep and leave. So, uh, and, and the post office, United States Post Office, got a, a very good track record of getting your stuff there on time. Because if I send this out priority, you'll get it within four days and you can track it day by day. Because that's what I do when I order stuff. I track it day by day. Today, my drums came, you know, and I, I knew they were coming last night. So I was prepared for them. Because when uh, the UPS guy brought the drum, he said, you, he said, uh, you formed a band because they didn't know, but don't know what I do. And I said, oh, you know, actually, uh, I'm a songwriter and I use this instrumentation to write, you know, because uh, like I told you, like last week, I had my first set of drums show up. And then the day my second set of drums showed up and the guy that delivered them today is the same guy that delivered the other drums the other week. So, again, uh. I'm letting this go again for a total of 189 that includes shipping and handling. So it's like 129 plus 50 dollars shipping and handling. Like I told you, I hate to get rid of any of these guitars. I mean, uh, this is a beautiful guitar. I love the color. Feels good to play. Sounds good. You know, but like I told you, I got another guitar coming and I got two drum sets up in here, so it's just getting kind of crowded. So uh, if you're interested, leave a comment down here. Say, hey, Morris, man, I want it. And then if you still see the video up, and it doesn't have on across the header soul. Because normally once I sell a guitar, I just put soul across there. So when people look at the, the video, the updated video, or the update information, they say, okay, it's been sold. So ain't no sense to me contacting Morris. I mean, asking him, you know, do we still have it? So if you're interested, say, hey, I'm interested. Then I say, okay. So you can send the money. You send the money. Then I put soul across the header here, and then I ship your guitar out the very next business day. Again, with United States priority shipping with signature required. 
I'm gonna stick this guitar up to the uh, to the camera, let you guys check it out. So there you have it, uh, 189, that includes shipping and handling. So that's what, 129 or 139, one of them. But anyway, uh, that's the total price to ship it to you. And it'll be shipped up pretty well, boxed up pretty well. So I'm gonna sign off now until next time. Take care and thanks for watching. Is there anything else I need to mention? Nope, video down there, link, so you can check out the, the, the guitar, you know, sound-wise. Take care.